Today I'm making um, another video for you guys. Um, this time to make a video on another curriculum kit that we're going to be giving out to you uh, sometime this month. So this February uh, marks the 56th anniversary of American Heart Month. So we thought it would be a, the perfect time to get um, this rolled out to you. So this month you guys will be getting health and safety curriculum kit big box, okay? So there's some really neat um, things in here that I'm gonna be um, showing you. And um, again, we know that uh, you guys are enjoying the all around the world and the all about me or cultures of the world and all about, all about me um, curriculum kit. And so we know that you guys are going to enjoy this next kit that we're gonna be, that we put together for you and we'll be delivering um, to you this month. Um, so again, we're gonna kick off the month with your very own health and safety kit. All right, just a moment. Okay, so just like the other two kits, it's gonna come with this little handout that explains everything that's inside, um, the ob objective of the curriculum kit, and what your goal is when you know when, when implementing um, the materials. So I'm gonna go through each one, and the first one is um, sorting center with two bins and labels. So here's your sorting bin. Okay, and I'll explain to you what that's for. And we have our 24 sorting cards and there's your label. So this label, healthy and unhealthy, will go in, um, you can put it here, if you'd like, you can put it on the inside for the kids to see. And then on this side, there's 24 sorting cards. Okay, and it's gonna show you pictures of what's unsafe or you know, what's unsafe, what's healthy or what's safe. Um, there's a bunch more in here, you can open it up. But these are great for little small group um, lessons, or you can even do it in circle time in big group. Um, you know, you can if you um, find that you don't have enough cards, um, you can partner up the children together so they can, um, you know, sort these um, with healthy and unhealthy. Then we also have an activity ball. So this thing opens up. They can hop on it. They can play catch with it. Um, when I say hop on it, you can bounce on it. And then we have seven large safety signs. So these safety signs are so cute. Um, they're very colorful and they're exactly what the children would see um, when they're out and about, whether they're riding in the car, riding their bike with you guys, um, on the train, whatever it is. So each one, right, this is the railroad crossing, stop sign, and these are um, the emergency phone signs on the highway or the freeway. So if you know, you guys get into an accident and you aren't, your phone's lost or you don't have reception or whatever the situation, this is what they, you know, what you need to look for to um, locate a phone and contact someone. And then you have your traffic light, your caution sign. And then this is also really neat. You have two of these. One that highlights when um, this needs to stop and the other that highlights when to go. And so this is great for the kids so you can show them you know, what is this sign telling you? What does this mean? Or do, is it okay for us to go, right? No, it's not okay, because it's not highlighted. And then you do the same thing with this one. So again, like we mentioned before with the other videos, use those open-ended questions in real life scenarios that'll really help the children. So this is the next th thing that comes with you. I mentioned it before, it's gonna come in here. So in the last two videos I made for you guys, I mentioned that um, when you are all done with the materials from the kit, please make sure that it goes back in the kit. Um, we wanna make sure that this is to be used, you know, a long time from now. So if you keep everything together, it's easy to find, um, you know, and you're modeling for the kids too, that when you're done, we put everything back in the bin, okay? And um, so it comes with that. And then the next thing it comes with is four decoders. So these are very neat. So here's your four decoders. These are the decoders. They are not magnifying glass. They are very special decoders, which I'll show you in just a moment. So they come pre-packaged individually. I did open this one so I can demonstrate with you. Um, and then it comes with 12 healthy habits discovery cards. And here are 12 cards. And if you look here at the bottom, these are the little codes that you need to decode. And here's your decoder. So the question here is, which is healthier, All right? And so you're looking at it and the kids, you know, they may not know. So you said, you know what, let's go get your decoder, let's go look. 
So you're gonna have the children put the decoder up in front and you're gonna see if it's a healthy food or a not healthy food. So you can see that there, that hmm, fries and nuggets. Oh, it's a sad face, not healthy. It's yummy, but it's not healthy. All right, and then we go here, we have mashed potatoes, vegetables, and some protein. That's healthy food, because it has a smiley face. So we have 12 of these. These are super, super neat and super creative and very interactive with these decoders, okay? Um, and then the next thing we have is, uh, looks like there's 11 pieces of play food, okay? And this is also great for sorting too. So you have the sorting card that you can do, and then you can also use the actual food for sorting, um, which one's healthy, which one's not healthy, okay? So um, I know that a lot of you guys may have this um, pretend food in the kitchen area, which is great. You can bring those in and sort them in here, but it's important to really keep these separated from the kitchen area, um, pretend play area, and kept it in the and keep it in the um, the bin when you're done. Okay. Um, and then one amazing thing because the kick up the February is American Heart Month, it comes with a, your own little stethoscope. It's so cute. So again, right, pretend play is great. Um, you know, asking these open-ended questions of, oh, I wonder what my heart feels like. What does your heart sound like? You know, and so you have these dialogue again with these two kids, uh, with two or more children, you know, playing doctor, playing nurse, um, learning about the heart and, you know, how many beats did you hear? You can incorporate math. So there's a lot of things um, you can do with the, uh, the stethoscope. Um, again, it's, it's so cute. Oops. And you, and you do have to put it together. So here is the part that goes on your chest and then the parts that go on your ear. So you would build it, uh, build it in. Um, and then we do have these amazing books that we've added to the kit. So I take care of myself is one, doctors. Um, and then we have good for you and me, watch out around town going to the dentist and germs are not for sharing okay now i do want to add that a lot of these books you know there's a lot of um words on this book now i recommend that because a lot of you guys have um children of all ages you know you especially the younger ones it's not necessary for you to read all the books you can you know read a few lines here and talk about what they see or you know what the kids see Again, asking those open-ended questions. Um, here's a little tip that I wanted to share with you. I actually enjoy using the post-it notes and putting them on my book. So what um, I like to do, and I think it's a really good idea to do, is when you have found a book that you wanna read to your class, to your group, um, to write down any open-ended questions um, on the book and stick it on that page. So that as you're reading to the kids, this is a prompt for you. It's a prompt to ask you, ask the children after you've read that page, that open-ended question. So um, let's say for, the, for example here, this one says, you know, being out is not like being at home. Everyone is busy doing things. Adults are not always paying attention, right? So it's important to stick close to them. Then here, my open-ended question would say, well, what would happen if the child, you know, if you didn't stay close to your uh, mommy or daddy or grandma or grandpa? Right, that's my own open-ended question. I would have on the post note and stick it here. All right, you take it off, you have it in your little hand, you read the page and you ask the questions. So these are great prompts and it allows you, it gives you, um, you know, uh, permission that to, you don't have to read all the words because some of the words could be um, a little bit challenging. Um, so you can modify it and ask those open-ended questions. So post-it notes, your best friend. Um, and then lastly, uh, we have a um, additional ideas, just like the other two kits that were added to um, the health and safety um, curriculum kit. So this is really neat. Uh, right here we have some ideas for germ videos and songs. One of my favorite shows that I've introduced to even my children is Sid the Science Kid. It is actually placed in a preschool setting. Um, great video, great music. It talks about exactly what um, you know what your what your theme is okay um, there's some um, lessons and ideas experiments you can do with the kids one is 
you get some pepper and you put it in the water and you stick your hand in there when you take it out they're gonna see some pepper on there so we gotta go wash our hands right and if they still see pepper that means oh we needed to wash our hands a little bit better right um, and then here are the signs or you can do a little walk around your neighborhood if you think that there are some um, signs um, that they might see most likely the stop sign you'll see more there are some health and safety versus uh, healthy and safe versus unhealthy and unsafe. So read through this. There's some really great ideas and information like I spy, right? If you're going to the park with your kid, let's spy. What what do we see that's not safe? What do we see that is safe, right? Even when, you're, when your kids are practicing safety in your classroom or in your home, point that out and say, oh, wow, um, Miss Michelle or Miss Lisa is using their walking feet. They're being very safe. All right, so again, identifying those um, safety safety actions. Um, and then here it says, you know, visit the doctor and dentist. Uh, February is heart health month. Talk with your children about what we need to do to, or to have a healthy heart, which is like exercise and eat right. So these are some really great information and resources for you. Um, and that's really, that's really it that we have. So lots of great things here, lots of flexibility. Um, lots of ideas that you can come up with. Um, again, all we ask is that keep everything back in the bin. Um, and please, please send us pictures when you are implementing and using the material. We love to see the progress you're making. We love to see the children's faces when they're using this. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, um, please reach out to myself, um, the Gail or Kristen, the other the coaches. We're here to help you. Um, and we look forward to seeing you as we deliver these um, packages. Thank you so much.